Are you bored of using your phone's default launcher? If yes, then this video is for you. I've got 10 amazing alternatives that you should consider using. So the first one on the list is called Ratio. It is a minimal launcher with a lot of productivity tools built in such as calculator, currency converter, weather, news and a lot more tools. You can interact with the launcher as you do with your AI voice assistants. You can just type your commands in that specific box to activate those tools. This launcher also automatically categorizes all your apps so that it will be easy for you to access any app if you know its category. For example, in order to access YouTube or Spotify, you can find it under entertainment or for Google Pay or PayPal, you can find it under the finance category and similarly for all other apps. Also, this launcher is entirely based on Grayscale UI which gives a minimal and clean look but I personally don't like it because switching from this launcher to other apps just feels like watching a black and white TV for some time and suddenly switching to a color television which is not easy to eyes. The next one is Niagara. Oops. Launcher. Instead of categorizing your apps with labels, this sorts them alphabetically so that you can access them by swiping across those letters in the right edge of the screen and I would mention this is one of the best launches for 100 usage. Also this has some Niagara themed widgets so you can add them to your home screen if you want to give an extra touch to it or else you can also add your own custom widgets which is already present in your phone. This launcher can also add double tap to lock just to your phone but you need to get the pro version of the app to get that feature. But my best advice is not to buy the pro version because you can get some free version of apps from the play store to add the double tap to lock gesture. I'll leave some links in the description for that. Next up is Action Launcher which I've mentioned as a customizable stock Android launcher with a lot of cool features built in such as the shortcut shutter, adaptive icons and new app opening animations. But the kicker is that most of these features are available only to the Action Launcher Plus users so that you have to get the paid version of the app to taste those features. But I think the upgrade is worth it. But if you wish to sacrifice those features, then you can stay with the free version of the app. It is also good. Okay, Nova Launcher. Probably you might know about this launcher already because this is one of the most popular launchers on the planet. Even though it has no exciting new features like the Action Launcher, the level of customization in Nova Launcher is great. Even I've seen many people using this launcher on their phones. So if you're planning to switch from your default launcher and if you're a fan of pixel look, then this will be a good choice for that. So next up is Hyperion Launcher. Hyperion enables the paid shutter feature from Action Launcher for free so that you can mask or in other words hide a folder in your home screen with a particular app icon so that when you click on the shortcut the app opens and when you swipe down over the shortcut the folder will be opened and I believe this will help you with some of your privacy concerns in your home screen. This also has a launcher based fingerprint app locking feature either fingerprint or face unlock but it is a rarity to be included in a launcher app. I think it is something different from other launchers. Okay if you're a fan of Microsoft Fluent Design then you'll love this launcher, the Microsoft Launcher. The UI here is something similar to Windows 10, so if you like Windows 10, you'll like this launcher, but I'm not a personal fan of that. Anyways, this has a few cards like calendar, tasks, and sticky notes, which are all synced to your Microsoft account. So if you have a habit of using your Microsoft account on your Windows PC and save all your work onto the cloud, then this will help you access all your work seamlessly from your phone and you can change them and everything is reflected back to your Microsoft account so that you can access your works both on your phone and your PC. Now, Smart Launcher. As the name says, it smartly categorizes all your apps based on labels like the Ratio Launcher, but on top of that, it gives more of a, a colorful, clean look to your launcher. But one thing that impressed me in this app was the level of customization of app icons. You can optionally download the Icon Pack Studio from the Play Store to customize your icons as you want. Now, Launcher. A simple pixel light launcher. It is very similar to Novo Launcher and Action Launcher when it comes to UI, but when it comes to features, it is a bit lacking. But if you're like, I just need a simple pixel light look and I don't need any other features, then you can close your eyes and install it. But don't get me wrong, Launcher is also good, it has improved a lot when it comes to previous versions of it, but when compared to other launchers, it has to improve a lot. Next one is Poco Launcher from Xiaomi. The design of this launcher is kind of undefinable because it does not give a stock Android look, not MIUI look, but uh, a stock like MIUI look. Maybe. But I think that's cool. And this launcher can also give you double tap to lock gesture for free which was made available only for the pro users on the Niagara launcher. And the design is kind of undefinable as I mentioned earlier. So just try this launcher if you like it, 
then use it. The final one is Leptus Launcher, which I've mentioned as the most minimalistic launcher on the planet, because the screen just contains alphabets and nothing else. If you know about the first character of the app's name, you can just click on the corresponding alphabet and a folder like UI will open consisting of all the apps starting with that character and you can choose your app. Just simple with two steps. Now here we come to a conclusion. If you love minimalistic design, you can choose between Ratio, Micro Launcher or Lattice Launcher. And if you like a pixel look, you can choose between Action, Nova or the Launcher 2. And if you want something different from those two, you can choose between the Smart Launcher, Hyper Ion, Focal Launcher or the Microsoft Launcher. So the decision is up to you. But I think it's worth trying all of them. So check out the links in the description for all those apps. And I've also made a video about some strangest apps that you should never try on your smartphone. So I'll link that from here as a card. Do check that out. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And do consider smashing that subscribe button if you did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.